Hello everyone, I hope you're having a great day. In today's video, we'll be checking out 10 more PC mods you can download for WWE 2K22. Let's get into the first one. The first one is Uncle Howdy custom graphic effects for your Titantron as well as your entrance for your preferred Uncle Howdy Creator Wrestler or Uncle Howdy mod. This was created by Lynch Reborn and the description says that this custom graphics mod includes Uncle Howdy's theme song which I obviously cannot play in the video but if you want to hear it for yourself all these mods are in the description. So Uncle Howdy custom graphics pack and Titantron and theme song for your preferred Uncle Howdy Creator Wrestler or mod by Lynch Reborn. Go ahead and check it out. Go ahead and download yourself. You obviously have to know how to install mods, um, how to use bake tools and all that stuff to get these mods working with WWE 2K22. There's tutorials all over YouTube and you can also join the Pro Wrestling Mods uh, Discord channel if you need any help. I personally don't know how to install these mods. So um, yeah, I ain't the one to ask. <laughs> Next up, we got a really cool custom arena mod by Six Rips. This custom arena is WWF Raw 996. And the description says that it includes the 3D Raw stage props, new curtains, 2K to 4K textures, accurate nameplate and locators for when the superstar is coming out during the entrance, their nameplate will actually be in the correct spot, accurate to how it was in 996. Six Rips also included crowd depth, and then the credits say that the crowd script was by Dot Grix, and the raw textures were by Catchamania. This arena will replace SummerSlam 88 in W2K22. So great job, Six Trips, with this raw arena. If you want raw 996, link in the description for it. Next up, we have a superstar mod, and that is for Andrew Test Martin, submitted by Tekken57. The description says that this mod was created using X Packer, X Ray, and X Shovert. I'm guessing that's a bunch of different mod tools. And of course, they're stating that this mod is not compatible with communications, as everyone should know if you're downloading PC mods. But Tekken57 did a great job with this test. Brings me back to the WWF days, and I absolutely miss this test uh, on my TV screen. Rest in paradise, big guy. Next up, continuing with Tekken's mods, as well as another superstar mod, we have Vampiro by Tekken57. And this mod was also created using X-Packer, X-Ray, and X-Showvert. And it's pretty much Vampiro. You know, Vampiro from when he used to uh, wrestle in WWF. Vampiro now wrestles in the Indies, I believe. And he was also in a Backyards Wrestling game. I'm sure he was in other games too, but when it comes to like the Indies, Vampiro is someone that I definitely recognize. Probably because he was in WWF for a little while there, and that's why I remember him. But I always thought Vampiro was a cool character. He has great tats, his mask looks badass, and just his overall look, he's just someone that he looks like you don't want to mess with. And I'm glad that Tekken 57 is showing him some love by creating him in W2K22. So if you want to download Vampiro for W2K22, uh, link in the description. He will of course come out with his mask, but when he's fighting, he will take his mask off for those uh, curious. The next mod unfortunately does not have a video for it, but it is an arena mod or a backstage brawl arena mod. It is the Batcave Brawl Arena by Reeve. And it's pretty much exactly what you see, exactly what it is. You are fighting in the Batcave. You have the Batmobile in the background, all the computer screens. You can use your weapons and stuff, staircases, uh, ladders, chairs, tables. So if you ever want to find the Batcave, maybe download some DC superstars from the Kitty Creations. This is the mod for you, the Batcave Brawl Arena by Reeve. Link in the description. Next up, we got an amazing Jay White by Joe Mashups. I mean, it's by Joe Mashups. Of course, it's going to look amazing. It's a custom sculpted face and body by Joe Mashups, and it comes with this 2022 AEW attire. Now, Jay White has been the talks recently for someone that might come to WWE. Same with Kenny Omega, but I'm pretty sure Kenny Omega will not be uh, showing up in WWE anytime soon. But Jay White seems like a possibility. So if you want an amazing looking Jay White mod, this is the mod for you. Link in the description by Joe Mashups. The video footage I'm showcasing includes two other mods. The second one is Jay White's graphics. So of course, if you're going to download this mod by Joe Mashups, you need Jay White's graphics. So you can download Jay White's graphics by Huma. Description says Jay White three alternative graphics plus theme song. So it comes with this theme song as well. And the third mod that's included in the arena is the AEW Arena by Matt Fick. And that mod is called the AEW Arena Pack 2.4. So if you want to download Jay White individually, go ahead. But if you want to download all three of those, or maybe just the graphics to get that authentic Jay White feel, then I highly recommend it. Next up is another arena pack by B4J.TV. It's called the Eras 2K22 Testers. This arena pack includes WWE SmackDown 2003 with the SmackDown Fist, one of my favorites, WCW Nitro 2000, WCW Thunder 998, WCW Nitro Pool 998, and WWF USS Intrepid 993. It also says don't mix these with other arena files and B4G TV also includes a little tutorial on how to bake the files with cake tools so so you can follow that along in the description or you can just figure out how to do it yourself. Moving on we have another Joe Mashups mod and it is Mercedes Monet re-sculpted face and body by Joe Mashups and a collab with Slinks. I don't know what Slinks did with this mod but they helped Joe Mashups with it. 
And of course, it just looks amazing. It looks like an actual model. Joe Mashups is very talented and he should actually be working for W2K22 to create these models because man, he just knows how to sculpt the face and body like perfectly. And if 2K had someone like Joe Mashups on their team, then we would get a lot of updated legends as well as models looking a little finer. For sure, Lita would not be looking like how Lita looks like. Let me tell you that. And if you're going to download Mercedes Monet, make sure you download the Mercedes Monet graphics by Big Brain. And of course, it's just to add on to the Mercedes Monet superstar so that it looks more authentic. Next up for you D.Va fans out there, we got Lay Cool plus Lay Cool's graphics. The first one is Lay Cool's graphics by Sparkles18. And obviously, this is just the graphics. It's a Titantron. It says Lay Cool. But we need Lay Cool. We need Layla and Michelle McCool. Layla and Michelle McCool are also both by Sparkles18. For Layla, they said that they fixed the skin and the tire textures on her model. And for Michelle McCool, they also said that they fixed the skin and the tire textures for their model. So putting all these two together, you have Lay Cool. And then you just got to decide on what tag team engines you want to give them. And boom, you have Lay Cool and W2K22. The final mod is a silly one, and it is Master Chief in W2K22. This was Master Chief's Fortnite model ported into W2K22 by Lynch Reborn, and there's not much more to say about it. It's Master Chief of Fortnite in W2K22. So if you want Master Chief to win the Rumble and go out to WrestleMania and defeat Roman Reigns, there you go. And that right there are all 10 mods for W2K22. Well, a little more than 10 because I included some bonus ones, but regardless, 10 mods overall. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to give the video a like, subscribe to be a part of the Fatal family, and I'll catch you next video. Fatal Steven out. Peace.